Now you may remember a few weeks ago, Tony from Gravelwood Car Sales collected his new Mercedes AMG GTR. Well, in that video, we said it wouldn't be the only new car collection taking place this month because today, Tony's picking up his brand new 911-991.2 GT3 RS. If you're new to the channel, welcome, my name is Sam. Make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos like this one. If you're a returning subscriber, give it a thumbs up because Tony the Baller is picking up another car. Oh, there he is. Good morning. <laughs> Dude, where's the tracksuit? Is it that? Oh. Something I feel like I need to clarify before we go ahead with today's very exciting activity is that when we, <laughs> when we do these videos, Tony buys her or Tony collects her, which seems to be every other week at the moment, these are his personal cars. Whilst Tony is a car dealer, uh, <laughs> these are not cars that he's bringing into his dealership to buy and sell. These are his personal cars. Check the website. <laughs> <laughs> they might be in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if if us car YouTubers claim to have a tough time because we constantly get distracted and fall in love with different cars and want to buy different things, Tony probably has a tougher time because what you have like tens, if not hundreds, of cars coming in out of this dealership, and it's turned e up by every month. And yeah, you yeah. Just, so he does change his cars a lot. We will admit that. And today's GT3 RS replaces the GT3 he collected in. December or January. Yeah, but this, that, that's not my fault, mate. So, so I what was- What do you mean that's not your fault? It doesn't matter, it's awesome. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. celebrating you. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed the GT3. It's only because I was offered an RS. You can't not turn it down. So that's the reason why, but otherwise I'd have kept the GT3 for longer. Show off. Anyway. <laughs> Let's do it. We ready? Yeah. We ready? <laughs> Dude, that car is so nice. It's nice. Isn't it? It's so quick. <laughs> so quick. I think you'll be quicker. Really? Yeah. Busy here today, isn't it? Really busy. Oh, and you just squeezed in next to this lovely GT. <gasps> Have you got an ultraviolet oh, RS? No. <laughs> We've got. Like it's like a. Tea? I'd like any. Oh, that is that a T? That's a correct RS. RS. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't mean to sound so rude when I said that. Oh, it's an auto. It's a PDK one as well. With a roof. How, oh, there's the sign. I was like, how did you realise it was a T? Well, I'm a motor dealer, mate. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There's a really nice ultraviolet previous generation GT3 RS. Well, there's, that's a lava on it. But anyway, we don't care about those, do we? Because <laughs> they're old, and this man's getting a brand new one. This is, I'm pretty sure this is a 997.2 Turbo S. Mate, I'm obsessed. Do you like this? I'm like, my whole, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is, mate. My whole obsession with 90s and naughty supercars, I want this so bad. But this and they are, oh, these are so hard to find. This is yeah, P yeah. PDK. It's the Gen 2 version of the 997. Yep. Oh, mate. I, I look for these, this is still a hundred and something grand. Yeah, there's still a few quick as mess, yeah, yeah. I'm always looking for these and I've always wanted one in yellow. Really? Mate, is this for sale? <laughs> no, no, it's custom uh, sparkling. Oh, that is, I love, oh mate, hands down, straight away. And do what with it? Just have it, use it. Well, you've got the money. I don't. <laughs> yes, don't. No, I don't, Tony. <laughs> Do 
Now I know all you want to do is pull the covers off, but give me two more minutes, we're going to do a piece to camera. Please. Okay. I don't okay. think I've ever seen you this excited on a car collection day. Yeah, because like, I always get a little bit underwhelmed. It's so disappointing. It's, I know, but... The AMG GTI, you're like, yeah, cool, it looks good, doesn't it? Off yeah, but it's because it's partly my job and I'm around them every day. This is different. Like, I think genuinely. this is different for a number of reasons. Firstly, because Tony is like the big Porsche guy, like he's Porsche. Yeah, yeah. You, you converted me, I did. hence why I got a 718 KMS from this very dealership. Yeah, yeah. Secondly, because GTVLS, sick, sick. sick. <laughs> <laughs> but thirdly, I think the main reason is we think this might be the first customer delivered, UK customer delivered GT3 RS. Uh, yeah, like first or second in the whole country. So not only is it like, in my opinion, probably one of the best cars in the world at the moment to own. I've got probably the first or the second one. Which I think you love. I think that's the thing of you course. put on your Instagram. Yeah. Instagram bio. My first UK RS. <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay, Done. shall I put you out of your misery? Please. You can pull the covers off? Yes. Two seconds. Ah. Mate, it's so sick. Have you seen it? It's freaking amazing! <laughs> Where's the key? Oh, look at that! Look at that! All the carbon inside. Do you remember how you spec'd it? No. <laughs> like, like, I never thought it was going to look this nice. Honestly. Like, I don't know what to say. You crying? M mate, look at the scoop there. Yeah. Look at this. Tell me, what have we got right here, Tony? Generation 2, GT3 RS, and it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, your spec? So, um, I went for all black, mainly, if I ever want to change it, I can just change it. There wasn't many... In terms of vinyl wrap? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to send back to the paint shop? <laughs> <laughs> Repaint it. Yeah. Um, mainly because there wasn't many colours you could spec it. Um, as there never is in the GT range, so I went stealth, uh, yellow inside because of the yellow brake calipers. I can't talk very much. No, and you're I, emotional. Yeah. You're emotional. Go on, walk around it, point things out. Show me the interior. Okay, so ceramics. Oh, ceramic brakes. Ceramic, we start with the outside. Okay. Black wheels. There isn't a great deal you can do outside to them. Um, we got the, the black around here. Is that black or grey? I think that's black. That's I think it's black. supposed to be black. Oh, I would say that's black. Um, yeah, there isn't a great deal you can do outside. I think that was basically it outside. You got the decals. Oh, got the decals. Hard to kind of notice, they're hard but, they're, to see, but, but that's they quite cool. Um, okay, inside is Here, where you. Mate, do you want to sit in it? Yes, please. <gasps> your first time sat in your brand new GT3 RS. 13 miles. <laughs> Mate. The, okay, so I'm going to point it out because I think you're slightly lost for words. Yellow seat belts and yellow stitching. Yep. This is so nice because it matches in with the yellow brake calipers. So basically no colour. <gasps> That's so nice yellow band on the steering wheel. Oh, but you didn't go for a yellow dial. No, I'm not bothered about that. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially the only colour on the car is the sort of contrasting yellow, yeah, which yeah. on a black car I think is mega. And yeah. it's quite safe if you want to wrap it green or red or purple or whatever yellow yeah. kind of works. Yellow goes with everything. Gives you a lot, oh man, look at all the carbon fibre, <gasps> door handle pulleys. Yeah, so I went for the carbon interior pack. Uh, obviously Mate, I'm going to come get in. I'm going to come get in. Oh. Take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even the doors feel nice. Mate, it's all right. It's so sick. I'm so pleased. The roll cage. Yeah. This so, is. 
So it's got the club sport, sport chrono pack. Smells nice. Smells yeah. nice. It's that is an extra. Logo. Is that an extra? Of course, it's an extra. Wow. Um, I've got the camera, the bows. Um, the sports resource is standard. It's got the important lift system as well. So cool. Like literally. This is your car. I know. Brand new, literally 13 miles on the clock. I know. Oh Doesn't it look God. good as well from oh. the outside? Like, and it's... even from the inside, you know the biggest thing? I've never sat in a GT3 RS before. Really? It's my first time in a GT3 RS. Are those fins on this the, on the outside of the wheel arches? I've only just noticed them. Yeah, but when you're, you can just see them. Yeah. And then the view in the mirror is that wing. <laughs> the wing is insane. Wow. Mate, this is so cool. This is So this is... Basically a GT2 RS shell wise, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very similar. It's a, it's a rear wheel drive, naturally aspirated GT2 RS. Oh! That, that'll do, we'll have that. We'll have that. <laughs> we'll, have that. <laughs> we'll have that. We'll have that. So there we go, Tony's brand new GT3 RS. Now, unfortunately, we're not actually going to be driving it away today. Tony's just freaking out, taking pictures, because the car still needs to be PPF'd. Um, but there is a ton of exciting things coming up with this car. In fact, there's going to be a lot of footage. God, mate, how excited are you? So excited. <laughs> this is such a I wicked can't take day. it today, though. No, I know. I was just saying on camera. I'm but, fuming. But I was teasing the fact that there's going to be a lot of footage to come yeah, on this yeah. car, moving like a lot. Quite soon, a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. And also, there is a podcast special coming around this whole collection. So if you've never listened to Behind the Glass, you can go and check us out. YouTube.com forward slash Behind the Glass. Or we're on SoundCloud, we're on iTunes, we're going to be on other platforms as well. Um, a whole special here at Porsche Guildford around collecting this car. So go check that out. But mate, congratulations. Oh, 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 oh this is all good. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come.